Hi, this is Dave Volk, Product Specialist with MSA, and we're here to talk about the Firehawk M7 breathing apparatus and some of the advanced firefighter health and safety features incorporated into this product. You start with the face piece. This is our ultra elite face piece. And let's face it, when you're fighting a fire, you need the best visibility and the best communication you can possibly get. The, fire, the ultra elite face piece offers an 83% field of vision retention, meaning that Wearing this mask, you see 83% of what you normally see without the face piece on. That gives you the maximum vis visibility to do your job in a tense situation. Also, communication is absolutely critical when wearing a breathing apparatus, fighting a fire, or handling some other hazardous condition. The voice communication on the Ultralite face piece, year after year, is the best in the NFPA voice intelligibility test in, as part of the 1981 and SCBA standard. If you look at the speaking diaphragm inside the Ultra Elite, it's actually right in front of your mouth. The other side of the face piece, you can see the other side of the speaking diaphragm right here. Nothing in between your voice and clear communication to the outside world. Another important feature in regard to firefighter health and safety is the inhalation check valve, check valve incorporated in the Ultra Elite face piece. This valve prevents contamination from leaving the face piece and getting into the breathing apparatus or the regulator. So only the face piece would have to be decontaminated, the regulator would never have to be contaminated. So anything that collects in the face piece during use would never leave to contaminate the rest of the unit. That's uh, firefighter health and safety. A couple other features regarding firefighter health and safety is rescue capability. We have more ways to get emergency breathing air to a firefighter than any other SCBA on the market. If you start here, we have our universal rescue connection that's mandated in the NFPA standard. The only difference is with the, NF with the MSA unit, you can receive air in and donate air out by use of a transfill hose to a firefighter in need. We also have an optional quick fill, which is the same fitting up on the shoulder. This also can receive air in or donate air out to a firefighter in need of emergency breathing air. On the other shoulder, we have what we call Extend Air. This is a low pressure body breathing system that allows two firefighters to breathe off of one unit in an emergency only. You can also use this fitting to have air come in from a supplied airline on an aerial truck or some other supplied air source. Also for firefighter health and safety, we designed the Firehawk M7 to assist in a rescue if somebody's down. We have carabiner attachment points built in here, here, here and on these side handles. This one's rated for 1,000 pounds of horizontal pull, and the side units are also 1,000 pounds here and 450 pounds in a lateral pull. So the harness itself is designed to assist in a rescue if needed. Also, in the category of firefighter health and safety, advanced ergonomics is absolutely critical. We designed it to be as comfortable as possible and lighten the load on the firefighter. We have very heavily padded straps and a unique swiveling lumbar pad to give the maximum ergonomic uh, benefit. Also, the overall pack is designed to be very simple and lightweight, and on average, we're about three pounds lighter than our nearest competitor. Also in the category of firefighter health and safety, we have buddy lights located on several uh, places on this unit. Down here we have two buddy lights on either side of the cylinder. These lights will flash green when everything's normal and then switch to red in the event of a pass alarm or a low air alarm. There's also a buddy light on the control module that also changes from green to red during an emergency. These lights are, offer great visibility in total darkness and also provide some directional indication. If you see two lights in the dark, that means your buddy is going the same direction as you. If you see one light, that means that person is coming toward you. So in total darkness, you can orient the people around you. We also have a buddy light on the heads-up display. In a 25% alarm condition, um, not only do these buddy lights turn red, but also you have a buddy light on the face piece that indicates to everybody around you that you're low on air. A 
Also, in the category of firefighter health and safety, we have a very unique and exclusive rescue belt. This is an option that can be uh, uh, put on the SCBA in place of the lumbar pad. The benefit of this rescue belt is that if a firefighter is trapped and out of air and needing to escape, he can just deploy the rescue belt from the waist belt, attach this to a stationary attachment point, and have 50 to 75 feet of Kevlar line to escape with. The repelling device is uh, attached, and this is all part of the SCBA and fully approved as part of the breathing apparatus and approved as a repelling harness. Now, one final feature I'd like to talk about in regard to firefighter health and safety is our unique accountability telemetry system that's built into as an option to the Firehawk M7. This system allows everything the firefighter knows to be transmitted to a base station where air pressure, uh, air time remaining, uh, any alarms, the identity of the firefighter, all of that is transmitted to a base station where the incident commander or safety officer can manage the scene safely and manage the air supply of all people on air. Optional. So I think you'll agree the Firehawk M7 offers more firefighter health and safety features than any other brand on the market. For MSA TV, this is Dave Volk. We'll see you on another episode.